Yo, what is up guys? I am back at it again, and today I'm gonna show you how to downgrade iOS 26 to iOS 18, and this will not require a computer. Now, we're gonna need this right here. It's gonna be called the Upgrade++. Plus Plus. I'll show you exactly how to get this, and once again, this will not require a computer, and this will only take you a few minutes. Now, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and get onto your iPhone that you wanna downgrade. We're gonna go ahead and open up settings. We will need to configure our device, so we're gonna go ahead and click on battery, and just make sure to disable low power mode. Once you have that complete, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and look for general. Once you're under general, go ahead and click on background app refresh and make sure this is set to Wi-Fi and cellular data. Um, and then we can go ahead and begin with the installation. Now I'm gonna go back to my home screen and open up my internet browser. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up a fresh internet browser right here. So let's go ahead and just go to Google. Okay, so once you're on Google, um, we're gonna go ahead and search for this site right here. And this is how we're gonna get the upgrade application. So we're gonna go ahead and type in injectapp.org. This is the official website um, to install the app. So um, make sure you did uh, spell it correctly. Um, double check it's uh, spelled just like that. And then we're gonna hit the search bar. Now once you're on the site, go ahead and type in upgrade and then click done. Now you will see the app right there. It's gonna be called Upgrade++. Plus Plus. This is what you will use to downgrade to iOS 18. So this app will allow you to either downgrade or upgrade iOS's. Um, once you have it installed, um, you should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this right here and you will notice it will say I'm on the iOS 18. So I was able to downgrade with this app and you can select multiple different versions of iOS 18. I'm just using 18.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start download. And there we are. So it should only take you about 30 seconds to install. And I've already installed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out. Once you do have the app, um, it will appear on your home screen and then you can instantly downgrade iOS's. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, see ya.